Welcome to the AV42C Anti-Radiation Weapon Tutorial. We will cover how to utilize the anti-radiation missiles, both the AGM-126 as well as the AGM-188. The AGM-126 Sidearm II is a compact, short-range anti-radiation missile based on the AIM-9X. It can be mounted on either of the four wing pylons in sets of one, two, or three missiles. The AGM 188 M Arm is a medium range anti radiation missile with a unique top down attack angle. It can be mounted as a single munition on any of the four wing pylons as well as the belly of the aircraft. As both missiles are operated in the same manner, we will be covering both in this tutorial. The major differences is that the AGM-188 has a longer range and can only target ground units due to its top-down attack. While the AGM-126 has a shorter range, it can target aircraft. However, a hostile aircraft needs to be pinging us with their radar in order for the anti-radiation system to target them so we cannot attack them from behind. To operate these weapons, verify that the master arm switch is in the on position, then switch to the ARAD screen on any of the available MFCDs and set it as the sensor of interest, and note that we can move the reticle around on this screen. Take note that the radar warning receiver and the anti-radiation screen both reflect the same radar sources. Highlight a radar source and click on the joystick or trackpad to set it as the active target. The lights on the dash show that we are in range of the target as the AGM-188 has a range of up to 20 kilometers. If we turn the HUD option on, we can see each radar source displayed on the heads-up display. Simply squeeze the trigger to fire the missile. While the anti-radiation missiles are fire and forget, we will watch the destruction unfold from a distance. Also note that the ARAD screen, just like the RWR, does not detect or mark friendly radar sources, so there is no chance of accidentally targeting a friendly unit. This concludes the AV-42C anti-radiation weaponry tutorial. However, you are welcome to keep watching to see the same process, but with the AGM-126 short-range missile.